Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how the eye focuses on near or distant objects. You should then be able to describe how short-sightedness and long-sightedness are treated, and this is for triple biology students only. In the last video we saw that light rays are focused onto the retina, which is at the back of the eyeball. The retina contains receptor cells sensitive to light intensity and to colour. Now a lot of the focusing is carried out by the cornea, but the cornea is a fixed focus. The rest of the focusing is carried out by the lens. The lens allows us to focus on near or distant objects. To do this, the shape of the lens can change. The ability to change the shape of the lens to focus on near or distant objects is called accommodation, and you should learn that word. In this video, we're looking at how accommodation takes place. The lens is surrounded by a circular muscle called the ciliary muscle, and this is connected to the lens by fibres, which are called suspensory ligaments. By contracting or relaxing, the ciliary muscle can change the thickness of the lens. When the ciliary muscle contracts, the suspensory ligaments loosen. The lens is now thicker and refracts light rays more strongly. However, when the ciliary muscle relaxes, the suspensory ligaments are pulled tight. The lens is now pulled thin and only slightly refracts light rays. So we're going to start by focusing on distant objects. The key fact is that light from distant objects needs to be focused only a relatively small amount. So in this case, the ciliary muscle relaxes and the suspensory ligaments are pulled tight. The lens is now pulled thin. Because the lens is thin, the light rays are only slightly refracted. As you can see, the light rays are now focused to a point on the retina. OK, so what happens if we now focus on a near object? Light from near objects needs to be focused a large amount. In this case, the ciliary muscle contracts. This causes the suspensory ligaments to loosen. Now the lens is thicker and refracts the light rays more strongly. And again, as you can see, the light rays are now focused to a point on the retina. Now, in some people, the light rays do not focus correctly on the retina, and these people can be short-sighted or long-sighted. You need to know how we can correct these conditions. Long sight is also called hyperopia. People with long sight have no problem at all focusing on distant objects, but they cannot focus on nearby objects. In many cases of long sight, the eyeball is too short, so the light is focused at a point behind the retina. However, in some cases, especially in the elderly, the lens becomes less elastic. In this case, the lens cannot become thick enough to focus on near objects. Long sight can be treated by using glasses with convex lenses. These partially focus the light before it enters the eye. And it's really important that you learn this ray diagram. OK, now short sight is also called myopia. People with short sight can focus on nearby objects but they cannot focus on distant objects. In people with short sight, the eyeball can be too long, so the light is focused at a point in front of the retina. Short sight can also be caused when the lens is too thick, and once again the light is focused in front of the retina. Short sight can be treated using glasses with concave lenses to partially unfocus the light before it enters the eye. Now, instead of using glasses, people can also use hard or soft contact lenses. These lenses sit on the eyeball, and they refract the light in the same way as glasses. Recently, new treatments have been developed for long and short sightedness. Laser surgery can be used to change the shape of the cornea, so it refracts the light to a greater or a lesser extent. And sometimes the lenses inside the eye can be replaced using an artificial lens. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on how the eye focuses and on long and short sight in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.